up, M Squad? Welcome back to the channel. Happy Friday. So, today is Friday. Y'all won't see this until Saturday. But I will be editing this today so y'all can view on Saturday. Anywho, welcome to the channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Okay, I just want to say welcome. Sometimes we be lit over here. Sometimes we just, we just go. That's how we do. Just go, okay? But to all of my loyal supporters, my day ones, my ins and outs, I just want to say thank you guys for rocking with your girl, okay? Yes, I just want to say thank you all. Um, I hope that y'all are liking the new, the content that I have been putting on the channel. It is totally different. Um, like I stated before, I'm trying to bring new content to the channel. I hope that y'all are liking the new editing. It's a lot that I still have to learn. So I am constantly learning how to work the editing system that I am using. I will put a link down below of the editing system that I'm using as well. I'm using a totally different camera. The camera that I'm using is actually for my um, my family gaming channel. But the system that I'm using to record this video and the other previous videos, not other previous videos, their most recent videos is through OBS. You can actually live stream through here you can also just record just a regular video. It saves it to wherever you want to save it to. And then you can just do your editing from there. Um, so sometimes if I don't want to use like my regular camera, I can just use it here. And I'm just already set up to be able to edit that video while I'm on the same computer. But anywho, <laughs> okay. As y'all can tell by the title, it's going to be a juicy topic okay i'm pretty sure some of y'all may have seen some videos about it it may have been on lifetime about it i know that i have seen some videos years ago and would have never thought that this would happen to me but sure enough it has happened to me okay so let me get into the logistics you guys if you enjoyed this video make sure you give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I don't know what you're doing. Let's take a little second and hit that little red button on the right side. And just make sure you turn your post notifications to all so you'll be notified when I upload upload new content to the channel, okay? Make sure you like, comment, and share. Share, share, share. On the description box down below of this video, all of my social media platforms will be listed. There is a direct link. All you got to do is click on that link. It'll take you directly to my Facebook, my YouTube, my Twitter, my Insta chat, which is Instagram, and also our family gaming channel as well. I have included the links in the description box. Y'all can just click on it, take it directly, follow, subscribe, share, do what it do, okay? As well, I, I am scheduled to set up an exclusive video. So I'm in the works of recording that video. Um, so if y'all would like to see my exclusive content, on my YouTube channel, there is a join button. Click on that join button to become a member of the channel. And you will see exclusive content. And there will also be some benefits as far as being in this, a member of the channel. Okay. Come on, support your girl. Okay. Um, also, if y'all like my reaction video of my last video with the tiny homes in Charlotte, North Carolina, I was so shocked to see that. So I just said, you know what, since I'm living in Charlotte, North Carolina, I just want to go ahead and represent. Okay. 
So make sure y'all go and watch that video. Tell me what you think. And if you would like to see me react to other videos, make sure you leave a comment into it. Send me a link and we will do what it do. Okay. So like I stated, as y'all can tell by the title, you guys. Yes, your girl did go through that. Okay. So today's video is... I did not know that I was pregnant until I was five months. Yes, you guys. Yes, yes, yes. Let me explain to you, okay? So, at that time, I was living in Canton, Ohio. Um, Everything seemed to be normal. I was going to work. I was on the go. Busy, busy, busy in school. Working full-time and in school part-time, right? And um, as I was working, you know, I showed no symptoms, you guys. I actually lost weight. I didn't have no symptoms, no cravings. Um, my body wasn't changing. The reason being because I was exercising. I was, you know, I, um, I wasn't as big as I'm am, I am now. I stayed on the go, constantly on the go, on the go. Where I went to school at, I had to go up like three flights of stairs just to get to my classes. Up and down, up and down. Even at work, up and down, up and down. Constantly up and down, up and down, up and down. At that time, I was not taking the elevators. I was just taking the stairs. Constantly on the go. And, you know, I had small children as well. So, you know, I'm staying busy. Busy, busy, busy. Um, my nose didn't spread. I didn't have no issues with, you know, my breasts. You know, they say, you know, when you, when a woman get pregnant, you know, they start having changes in their breasts, soreness breasts, and you know, my stomach didn't get big. None of that. I showed no symptoms. And also another thing is I had my cycle. My cycle stayed, my cycle came on every month faithfully, one time, no spotting. No changes in my cycle. It just came on every month. The entire time. Every month. I had got sick at work. I started throwing up. And I'm up there thinking maybe it was the food that I had ate. Because prior to me going to work, I want to say I stopped by some restaurant. I don't know if I stopped by Wendy's or... It was some restaurant over there near my job. Um, I had stopped by there, got me something to eat, something quick to eat. Um, I, was, uh, I had stopped by Starbucks and got me a drink, and I stopped by some other place that was right across the street to get me something to eat. Went straight on to work. Cool. No problem. Got to work. I'm fine. Happy. Excuse me. Talking to my co-workers. Everything seems to be normal. So... You know, I drank my little coffee, ate my food, and then next thing you know, I started feeling funny. And I was like, well, maybe it's the food that I ate. I was like, I hope them people didn't give me no food poisoning now. <laughs> Let me tell you something, we ain't got time for food poisoning. So, um, I stopped drinking the coffee, and then I stopped eating what I was eating. Right? So, it just seemed like it just got worse, like the nauseating would not you know, go away. I just got me some ginger ale. People was asking me, was I okay? And I told them what I ate. And it was like, it got to be something that you ate. So, I went to the doctor. Everything seems to be okay. Um, everything checked out normal. I'm fine. They asked me, was I pregnant? I told them, I said, no. I said, I'm on my cycle. At that time, I was on my cycle. I said, I'm on my cycle. Everything seems to be regular. You know, my month prior to that, I was on my cycle. No issues. They said, they checked my weight. They said, well, the last time you came in, you weighing less than what you was weighing. I said, yeah, because I'm working out. I'm constantly on the go. I'm working out. I'm working. I'm, I'm nothing. No signs. Nothing. He asked me, was I sleeping or not? I said, no. I said, I'm not even sleeping a lot at all. I'm not tired. I'm not out of breath. I'm not showing no signs, right? So, um, my doctor prescribed me like some nauseated medicine that I can take. And it's like a little tablet that you can put up in your tongue. I said, cool, you know, that was working fine. Yeah. I want to say the month after that, 
I was having those same symptoms. And I was like, listen, something ain't right. So I called my OB doctor. I scheduled an appointment. Came into the office. The crazy thing about it is my OB doctor, the ultrasound people was not available for them to take do like an ultrasound. So they just did blood work. And the blood work came back positive. And I'm sitting there looking at... Um, my my boyfriend at the time, which is my current husband, and me and him looking at each other, and I'm like, yeah, we did what we did to get us in this situation, right? So, since my doctor's office did not have the ultrasound, my doctor sent me to the hospital where I can go there. So they sent all my paperwork over, they talked to the lady, she told me to come the next day. So, after I got off work, me and my boyfriend at the time, we went over there. Um, you know how you got to have the little gown on. They uh, did the little ultrasound. As soon as the lady put that little that utensil that go across your stomach, I looked at that um, the little monitor. I said that baby head beat to be two months. That lady looked at me. She was like, "Ma'am." Um, you're not two months. You're actually five months pregnant. Five months pregnant as soon as the lady said I was five months pregnant, you guys. I started sliding down off the table. My boyfriend and the nurse had to come and get me. The nurse lady, her face turned so red. She was like, she's sliding down. Come and help me. I'm looking at him, my boyfriend cussing. I'm sitting there sliding. The nurse turned red. We all going to end up in the emergency room all at the same time. We are already there. I'm like, five months. And then not only than that, get this, you guys. She told me I was having a boy. I'm finding out I'm pregnant. Not only than that, I'm five months pregnant. Not only than that, I found out what the gender of my baby is all in within 24 hours. A boy. I was like, huh? She was like, ma'am, you didn't know I was pregnant? I said, no, ma'am. If I didn't know I was pregnant, I wouldn't have made it to the hospital. I would have made it at my OB doctor. I won't be here. It was a lot to take on all at one time. So I'm just sitting there saying to myself, like, whew, let me breathe. Let me stop sliding down this table. Let me get myself together. This is a lot to take in. just my two daughters at the time and they six years apart so I'm like oh my gosh like I was not prepared I was not prepared at all to be hearing this within 24 hours so I got my little ultrasound pictures I immediately had to go back to my OB doctor the next day I had to catch up on all of my prenatal care for the rest of the week. I went to my doctor every day so I can catch up on, on my prenatal care. So I went to him every day for two weeks just to get caught up on stuff. I'm like, this is too much. And then not only than that, I did not begin to show until I was like my seventh month pregnancy. When I was seven months, that's when I began to show and started having more symptoms of me being pregnant. And I said, now, nah, ain't this about something? Like, I didn't show no signs whatsoever, you guys. None. I didn't eat a lot. I didn't sleep a lot. I was busy. I was on the go. My cycle was regular. I didn't have no changes in my body. I didn't have no changes. When I say no changes, absolutely no changes whatsoever. 
So, going to the doctor and just catching up on everything, it, it made me sicker than what I was already on. I was just like, I was done at that time. Because it was a lot that I had to catch up. A whole lot that I had to catch up. So now I'm, I got to prepare my house for a little boy. I immediately got on the phone, started calling everybody, my family, my friends, letting them know what's going on. And immediately had to get shopping and stuff out the way and get prepared yet again for another chair. And I'm like, now, the crazy part th about this is my middle daughter, she was born on April the 17th, 2009. And my son was born on April the 24th, 2010. So they are a year and a week apart. But the, it, when my son came here, as they began to get older, everybody thought that my son and my daughter was twins. They immediately think they was twins. They so close, they still close to this day. Everybody think they, they are twins. And I'm like, oh, that is crazy. So there are some shows that I have seen, like I had stated earlier, that some women do not find out they was pregnant until they get to the emergency room. They about, ha about to have the baby. I see a lot of women go through that. Like, they don't know until they about to have the baby. Like, literally. I've seen it to where some ladies, they didn't have blood work done. They didn't have um, ultrasounds done. And it was nothing there. I'm like, how the world you don't know there's nothing there? They did pregnancy tests at home. They came back negative. Blood work came back negative. This is like crazy. So I can say that I am part of those women who find out that they are pregnant until like months later. And that is weird. I would have never thought that I'd be going through that. I would never thought that me would even experience something of that nature at all. But this is the end of my story time, you guys. I hope that y'all enjoyed that story. Like I said, said earlier, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe, and share, share, share. And that's it. And if y'all like these story times, leave me a comment and let me know what you think, okay? So, until then, I will see y'all on the next video. Peace.